Hi, this is Kevin. And I'm Heather. And this is Going Batty. We, we're gonna give you a update on my garden because it is really starting to take off now and look really good. So here are my pickling cucumber plants and I've got, my son picked already this morning, but I've, I've already, he missed a few it looks like. Um, but these are doing really, really good. I really like this trellis that I built for it. Um, it's really helping them not to sit on the ground and where I can't see them very well. But um, yeah, so this is turning out really well. Over here. Holy moly, what that is, is that? That is my zucchini plant. And I was told when I moved here that zucchinis do very well out here. I mean, very well. And that thing is the biggest zucchini plant Stand by it so we have a had. little reference point. Okay, so. I'm 5'8", <laughs> and this thing, it almost comes up to my hip. So, and it is, it's huge. It, it's the biggest, like, I did like square foot planting and you're supposed to do like one zucchini plant in a square foot, but it's actually crowding out my tomato plant down here. Oh yeah. So um, next year I'm gonna do this a little different. And you have quite a few green, green tomatoes. Yeah, I've already picked one tomato. What's this my, thing again? This is um, Brussels sprouts. Okay. I've been having a horrible time with cabbage moss eating it. And the only thing that I, I've tried, I don't like using pesticides. Yeah. But with this one, I've actually had to use um, the seven dust on it. And they're still, they're still eating it to death. Yeah. So, but I've got tons of tomatoes on here. I've got big ones down here. Wow. These are my um, San Marzano tomatoes. For what is that over there? Those are my green beans, and I've got little teddy green beans on them. Awesome. Oh man, you sure do. Look at that. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. I'm, I'm All those not tomatoes. Good at growing peppers. I've got a few jalapenos here, and I think next year I'm going. What's that right there? That that is a yellow pepper. That'll be awesome. Yeah. I she says gonna... she's not good at this, but let me tell you, we've had some good fruit off of this already. Well, I, I, peppers are my nemesis. <laughs> so, uh, tell them about your raspberry plants. So I've got um, three raspberry plants here. My oldest son comes out every morning and picks all the raspberries off of them. And this time we, we actually got to eat some of our own, but he usually eats them. But I've got actually quite a bit oh, yeah. on here and then more here. These will probably be right by tomorrow. Rock on. Um, this one's got a few on it here and all the way down. And so does that one. So um, I'll mulch these depending on how harsh our winter is. I'll probably cover them. And then we're going to plant more of these because we yes. really like these. So this is my herb bed and this has just taken off. And I've got, you can see that dill, I've got um, parsley, that's oregano, rosemary, chives. Um, this is thyme, that sage over there, and that's my basil. And it's doing fantastic. So um, I've been picking them and using them. I've been drying them. So um, I'll probably put these in my dehydrator. Like when You're not done. the only one that's been drying them, are Katie, you? Katie she hangs them, them in her. Uh, she hangs them in her closet and dries them out yeah, on lines. Yeah. And you can do, actually do that here because um, we have very little humidity. Oh, it, it rained yesterday or, or this morning, yep. but usually like our humidity in the summer is anywhere between like, you know, three and 20%. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty dry here. That's our Silky. She's super cute. I like her. She's an escape artist too. Yeah, she's constantly in my garden. Um, these are my potato plants. Now I had more and we hadn't had our watering system kind of figured out right. And so I, some of them I pulled because the plants had died, but they died because they got dry. So I didn't get a whole lot of potatoes out of it. But these um, we're gonna just let go until the plants completely die down and then we'll pull them. They're trying to figure out how the one chickens got on the other side of the fence. And so they cluck at each other going, how'd you get there? How did you get there? I don't know, how'd you get there? Hey Chuck. Oh. Good morning. 
So friendliest cat in the entire world. Yeah. This one is not any good. See how it's yellow? Uh huh. So that goes to chickens. They can have that. Yay! Uh, my chick, the chickens have escaped and dirt bathed in here, and all of my slicing cucumbers that were here, um, they dug up. <laughs> so. But these pepper plants are looking pretty good. Yeah, they are. Are those but bell peppers? These are or bell peppers. Is there a bell pepper on yeah, there? Yeah, there's two of them on this one. This is my cayenne pepper plant. That it's, thing's put out a lot of little peppers. Yeah, it looks better than it did. Yeah. Um, but that one, those I'm gonna dry. I'm gonna put my dehydrator and dry, mm -hmm. and then just make pepper flakes out of them. This kale oh, is uh, Chuck. taken off, man. Yeah, and then, oh, I've got another cucumber here. Yeah, you do, look at that thing. Yeah. That's probably ready to pick too, isn't yeah. it? The, this, these cucumbers haven't done as well. And that, and I think my cucumbers did better when they were all by themselves. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do my slicing cucumbers like that next year. Yeah. Um, what does it mean like right here when I see these curled up leaves? Too um, much water? See right actually, here? Actually, I don't know. They're kind of wilty like they're not getting enough water. Hmm. So that, because your tomato plants kind of yeah. need a lot of water. Well, let me tell you, it's been raining like three days straight and this yeah. morning it soaked it. Well, and this one is a spaghetti squash plant. And then I've got... Oh man, look at uh, that thing growing. This is zucchini, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna... Oh, I like them it. smaller. I don't like them super oh, big, okay. like baseball bats. Okay. So if I'm gonna eat one, it's gonna be like this size. Oh, I they see. they get tough when they and really seedy. That's uh, good for the chickens. Uh, when they uh, get those because it deworms them and it helps yeah. with their uh, immunity. Yeah, and so, and then my kale plants are doing really well. Too. Kale's amazing. So, and my onions are doing okay. They're not great, but. Um, but they're onions. They are. I planted them from. This side looks pretty decent, from doesn't starts it? Starts for instead of like the little onion sets. I actually bought onion plants from the, um, the greenhouse i like the red onions yeah. those are my favorite the only thing with the red onions is they don't store as well as like a white onion does no but yeah. they won't need to because i'll eat them all yeah. so, oh that, hey there's another cucumber over there where? let's go find it right here oh there's one right here yeah that's a good one so these are my this is my slicing cucumber that's a second harvest right yeah, there is what is that is. This is a pickling cucumber. My son's already picked once in here this morning. So, but I'll show you what I've done with my cucumbers. There's another one. Oh, there's another one. Boy, those things are crazy. Yep. All right. Miss thing, the laziest cat in all the land. Who loves our youngest son. Oh boy, So much that she'll sleep in his shoes. Oh yeah, for sure. And my son is 13, so his his shoes aren't the best smelling in no, the world. No, and neither is she. <laughs> she kind of fits that smelly cat, but she's she's very loyal, very sweet cat. So this is not what we wanted to show you. This, tell us what those are. Those are my uh, deli style refrigerator pickles. And they are awesome. They're awesome. And you can actually can these. I've, I've canned them before to make them shelf stable, but we have this giant refrigerator in our garage that has nothing in it. And my kids will go through these really quickly. Really fast, really but quickly. they have to sit for a while. They do. I actually had to look at my children and tell them you can't touch these for at, at least a week. It should be two weeks, but it's hard to keep them off them. So for when at least you, a week. Okay, so a week from now, two weeks from now. Um, a week from two days ago. Okay. So I did them two days ago. But right. what I do is I come in here and once a day I'll shake them up to get all of those spices down in the bottom mm -hmm. to kind of move up to the top and make sure everything's getting covered with the liquid and you know stuff like that because they do settle after you put them in the jar. And I have them sliced the way my kids like it where they're like I get maximum pickleage on my sandwich <laughs> and then the way Kevin likes them he likes them like this so and then uh, you're doing spears on the next round yeah right? I'm gonna do pickle spears on the next round this is really an easy way you, you guys got to check out Heather's video on making pickles it's really an easy way to make your own pickles so we've actually had a few people asking to give us to give us, give them a tour of our new house, but we're not quite ready yet. We'll give you a tour soon, but we're not quite there. 
One thing we do want to show you is tease you a little bit by this is our backyard. That's as big as it gets. We have a chicken coop back there and a chicken run, but that's and this is a actually in our town that we live in this is a decent sized backyard it like, is a decent sized I mean, backyard for you to have more than a quarter of an acre in this town is unusual yeah and as you notice we have to start all over again with the grass because all the all of these uh different kinds of weeds took over and we're gonna be do, we're gonna do a whole like planting extravaganza next year but uh, this is our backyard and we thought we would tease it a little bit and just show you kind of our how our our yard is set up so we've got the chicken coop back there we've got the, the garden we've got this general area right here which we don't know what we're gonna do with yet and then we have the garage and then we have where we park the trailer so that just gives you a little bit of a tease as to what we what we're doing so we're out in Kevin's truck and it is a beautiful day out here. It has been lately, it has been um, smoky because in Utah and in Idaho they, and California and <laughs> wherever, there's been fires. And so, but today has been one of the first days where it's been like beautiful blue skies. I think the rain put it all out. Yeah, the rain kind of washed it away. So this is just a little bit of an afterthought, but I was sitting here thinking like, if you guys want, I can do a new video on how I do my pickles. Um, because I believe the last one I did was probably about two or three years ago. It was before we moved here. So it's been at least three, three years. Um, you know, just so that you don't have to go searching through our videos to find it. <laughs> but um, just let me know down in the comments if that's what you'd like. So we're headed up to where the wild horses are because that's where Pilot Butte is. Alright, so I don't know if you can see those out there, like, but those are wild horses right here on the very top of that bridge. We were able to get a little closer, but yeah, right there, those are the wild horses. So Kevin and I were talking, and that's actually the biggest herd we've ever seen of them. We usually see like two, maybe three together, but, um, and you couldn't see because they were down the hill that there was, I don't know, there's probably like eight to 10 of them that I was able to get. And then there was probably about 10 more down the hill. Yeah, I was so, thinking there's about 20. Yeah, and so, I mean, that that's a pretty, pretty big herd. They are right up next to the road here. Like that's not, Just walk him right towards us, like, hey, how you doing? Oh, wow. He's not like that, or she, or whoever. So I have to tell you how blessed I feel right now. Last week it was a bear I got to see. This week, the week before that, or later on in that same week, it was bison. And now I get to see wild horses. I'm having a lot of fun this vacation, I'll be honest yeah. with you. Here comes another herd. Yeah, but so what we think we've learned is it don't rain here very often, 
but when it does that's when you come up here to see the wild horses because the ditch lines at the side have all the water and they're getting drinks and rolling in the water so always come after it rains that's is right. what we're learning <laughs> So we're getting ready to drive up onto Pilot Butte and Pilot Butte is, um, has been used like the sign back there actually said like since prehistoric times as a um, landmark and a lot of like your explorers have used it but it's interesting because Pilot Butte you can almost be seen like for 30 miles in about every direction. So that light right there is Pilot Butte. So I got some pretty good pictures of the butte, but I didn't get it like right up on it because it, it's huge. So like, yeah. it doesn't look so big from the road. <laughs> Once you get up to it, it's massive. We decided to go to one other place today. We are in uh, Fire Hole, which is part of the um, Flaming Gorge National Park. So- Which um, we keep forgetting we're this close to a national park. Yeah. But, this um, is 30 minutes away from where we live. Yeah, so it's been it's been quite a day. I mean, we've like we've, we've done, done a lot. we've done a lot, <laughs> and we've seen a lot. And yeah, it's been um, awesome. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you some video of this area. It's actually just really beautiful because I believe this is the Green River that's kind of dumping into yes. um, the Flaming Gorge right now. But it's it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely. This is our surroundings here. So that there that's the green river and it's going into the flaming gorge down there but i mean this is the scenery all around us right now and there actually is a campground here too that is pretty nice it's got some really nice shelter and everything but yeah that's our view that's where you dump your water i guess so but um, this is the, the campground and it's kind of nice because one thing about out here is like, if you notice, we don't have a lot of trees. And um, so these shelters are actually really nice, like really nicely built. And, um, and they have a windbreak too, like they're all facing. So like the wind, you know, is not, I mean the wind shifts and everything, but for the most part, like you have some, at least on two sides, um, some, you know, shelter from the wind. But yeah, this is a really, really nice campground. So the gentleman here said it was $22 a night to camp here, but, but, but. if you have a national park pass, ooh, 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 we which do. we have we two, <laughs> we have one for each car, um, it is $11 a night. They also have bathrooms and shower houses, so you don't have to poop in a hole, yay. <laughs> And you can get clean. You don't have to go a week without a, a shower. Yeah. All right, so that's our video today. We saw a lot of great places. We sure did. We learned a few things like don't drink something this size and then go on a four hour ride because there's no bathrooms <laughs> in the area. The Butte has no bathrooms. No bathrooms. They use nature. And I, I don't do that. No. So we had to wait till <laughs> civilization. But beautiful we saw over 50 head of horse horses. yeah i think i counted like 63 yeah and eventually we saw about 63 of them absolutely beautiful yeah. the butte was beautiful fire hole is a really neat place great um, campground great campground. so surprised about that campground yeah we're it, gonna have to we're gonna have to give that one a try I think. yeah yeah i think so uh, too all right a great little secret of our area is that camp spot it's it's about 30 to 40 minutes off the main highway so you've got a little bit of a drive but it's all pavement yeah you're not gonna go off off on a dirt road like we did at the butte yeah but that's the, there's some little secrets in our area that we just we're so grateful for yeah we just love yeah. them so it's been a full day it has been so we are going to say goodbye to you guys so make sure you like and subscribe 
and more updates. Maybe they come up, comment down below. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta hear your comments. We love yeah. it when you guys comment as long All as right. you're nice about it. Yeah, and more updates as we go. Bye. Bye.